comfort food. You know it, you love it, it's delicious. What does it have to do with the womb? You probably don't remember it, but most likely the last time that you felt completely and utterly comforted was in the womb, floating around in a warm amniotic ocean, nutrients coursing through your body thanks to the placenta. You had food, you had shelter, you had clothing in the form of gelatinous goo. You had it all. So what does any of this have to do with comfort food? Well, in times of duress, we tend to try to replicate our neonatal forts that we were in, the womb. And one of the pillars of these forts is comfort food, specifically fatty, oil-drenched foods. In the Journal of Clinical Investigations in the Netherlands and the UK, scientists found out that fat could actually vanquish a case of the SADS. So how did they figure this out? Well, scientists had the volunteers listen to really sad music and look at depressing images for about 40 minutes straight. At the same time, these same volunteers had either a saline injection or a fatty injection directly into their guts. The volunteers who had the fatty fix reported feeling a lot less sad than their counterparts who had the saline fix. And actually, FMI MRI brain scans told the same story. So this research, as well as a raft of other studies, point to this idea that the gut is functioning as a kind of second brain. In fact, our guts are telling our brains about its level of emotional comfort at that very moment. Essentially, your gut is calling the emotional shots. So what sort of comfort food do you turn to when you have a case of the SADS? Let us know in the comments below. You can post a video, post a comment, and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.